everyone, welcome back to another Monday Motivation. Hope you're going really, really well. Today, I wanna to share with you that process beats talent. And this hopefully comes to you as a encouragement and a way that you can really set yourself up for the new month and this first quarter in the year. Now, I used to believe that talent was it. You know, people used to say, oh, he or she's a gifted salesperson or they're a born salesperson or they're just so talented at this thing. And that was the foundation of whether they were going to be successful or not. Yet over the years, training people, consulting, working with them, coaching salespeople, I've found that it's just so far from the truth. And I think I wanna share with you that process and the following of a process actually beats talent. Why? because it's the consistency, it's the day in, day out, it's the trusting of the process that ultimately gets a result rather than just talent. The analogy would be, let's say you're just a really gifted golfer and you've just always had the knack and the ability to hit the ball. That's great, it's a good start. But who's gonna win? The talented golfer that picks up the golf club every now and then, or the person that goes to the driving range every single day and hits 100 balls and then goes to the weekend and plays a tournament every Saturday, week in, week out, trusting the process, following the process forever. I think you can get where I'm going here. And so I wanna share with you the top three things that I think really set up process. And the ultimate goal, once you've got these three things in place, is to use your talents to meet the process and then you become unstoppable, my friends, okay? And so the first one here is a process of ensuring that you have high levels of enthusiasm. Guys and girls, I've seen, I've seen talented people lose their enthusiasm, lose that, that zest, the love of it, and it means they don't follow a process, they actually squash their talent, and it means they don't actually get any results. So step number one, where's your enthusiasm levels at? Do they need to get built up again? And if they do, I want you to remember the last time you were feeling enthusiastic, the last time you were in a really good state, and ask yourself, what are you doing differently now than when you were back then? So that's step number one. Number two, a process that I like to really work through is health. Health has really taught me a lot about process. Why? Because the fat doesn't just drop off overnight, okay? When I burnt out at the end of last year, and I, well, the year before I should say, and I decided that health needed to be a priority for my family and for my business to get me to a new level and to, to, to not burn out again, I realized that health is a process. It takes time. It's about consistency. It's about incremental change. It's about sticking at it even when you don't see a result. And so I know for a fact, when your health is good, your business is good. So ask yourself, where's your health levels at right now? What needs to change there? Do you need to put in a better process? Do you get a better sleep pattern in place? Do you need to drink some more water? Health is a process. Enthusiasm is a process. And the third one here, team, is daily activity in context of sales. And if there's one thing that I know for a fact, that's a process that will deliver you a result, that is follow up. Follow up, that says follow up. Knowing that 80% of business transacts after the seventh touch point. And so if you're not using follow up as a process, you're not using follow up as a system to ensure that you take the market share up the top, again, you could be super talented, but if you're just not following the process, you're not gonna get the result. So, hopefully this Monday motivation has inspired you to go, you know what? There's some little things that I could change this week and this month to get me a new result. Is it enthusiasm? What do you need to do to get that back up to a new level? Is it your health? And lastly, are you just taking the activity? And so, I'd love to hear from you. Shoot me a comment down below, send me an email. Which one is it for you? What are you going to commit to? And what are you going to work on this week and this month? I'd love to hear from you. And if there's any other way we can help you in the meantime, just say the word. We'll see you on the next Monday Motivation.